Lars Magnus Ericsson believed that communications are a basic human need. Back in 1876, this was a radical thing to say. He wanted everyone to benefit from the chance to communicate, wherever they were in the world. We started with the telegraph, then made things more personal with the telephone. For the first time, someone could communicate with another person in another place, in real time. Some phones even became design icons. Others found a place in homes across the world. 1981, we were the first to take things mobile, enabling you to call a person rather than a place. We believed in mobile broadband and made it happen so that sharing video, images, and playing games were possible wherever we happened to be, transforming the way we live, work, and play. We created a programming language that we open sourced, enabling real-time chat on the world's largest social network. And soon new communities were popping up everywhere. Let's not forget Bluetooth. That was us too. We've tackled extreme projects in the most challenging conditions, such as supporting major disaster areas in their recovery, helping refugees find loved ones in days, not years, bringing mobile internet into the heart of the Amazon, providing new communications to 13 million people in just 13 months, or helping people to share in amazing spectacles. This is our heritage, and it brings us into an even more exciting future. Today we are on the verge of something even more extraordinary that will make the mobile world seem as distant as our first telephone. A world in which everyone and everything everywhere is connected in real time. We call this the Networked Society. And like all revolutions before it, it will change the way we think and how we do everything. A connected world is just the beginning.